if you look closely and you see the, the light wood around the room and then there is a darker strip on the outside, what is that? Can someone... Uh, carpet. carpet, yeah. It's, it's the poor man's... Uh, yeah, the, the carpet has been taken off and they don't have the means to put in new carpets. So they have these strips over here. But in the meantime, this area, which is called the poor man's carpet, where you have the lighter wood showing through, is there. You see the plaster on the wall, sort of in disrepair over here, the wood stove heater. It's all very clean and neat. It's a, uh, it, there's a sensation of sparseness, but there's also a sense that the little boy has everything. He's dressed up and he's having the pancakes that his mother is serving him for breakfast before he gets to the presents. So there's that element of restraint, of honoring tradition, of uh, you know, sticking by rules, of going with the norm. Uh, the presents under the Christmas tree, uh, very specifically chosen, a few in number, not extravagant, none of that. So this is a reflection of Horace Pippin's life. Uh, he was one of the first African-American uh, artists who reached a certain level of excellence in this country. And this was done right after he came back from the war uh, uh, in 1945. And he died very young. He died maybe six or seven years after that. And basically what happened was that in the war, because of a sniper shot, he lost the use of his right arm. And before that, he had never painted, ever. It was just that uh, when he came back from the war and he couldn't use his right arm, he fell into great depression. And he taught himself how to prop his right arm with his left arm and to hold a brush and to paint. And completely self-taught, very primitive, but capturing the essence of what's going on in the, behind these closed doors that most people in that day and age would not know. They just would not know. Uh, so a lot of these uh, social uh, uh, forces, the, you know, the, the forces of making do with what you have, not giving in to poverty, uh, just holding steady, all these themes you see repeatedly in Horace Pippin's uh, paintings. And he is a huge name now. By the end of his life, when, he, when his paintings were being sold, they were being sold in the millions. So.